All right guys, we are back again today with another collaboration video. We are actually on the way to a jiu-jitsu facility right now to get a training session with Jimmy House, who is a dual athlete in jiu-jitsu and powerlifting. Absolute phenomenon. I've never done jiu-jitsu in my entire life, so I am scared. I'm gonna look like a complete buffoon, but it's all right, because you gotta step out that comfort zone and do shit that you've never done before. So, we're on our way. We're gonna meet Jimmy there, get this training session underway. I will catch you guys when we get there. Bam! Jimmy House. What's up guys? Well, I'm about to go through my first jiu-jitsu workout. I'm gonna let Jimmy give a little intro on who, he, on who he is and what he does so you guys can have a little bit of background knowledge. What's up guys, I'm Jimmy House. Originally I started as a wrestler, kind of doing wrestling and bodybuilding and stuff like that when I was about five years old. I got introduced to wrestling in high school. From there that bled into powerlifting. At, in my first two years I turned professional at the age of 19. I set a couple world and national records in the process. After that I got my weight up to 270 pounds, decided I didn't want to be that heavy anymore. That's where I started here, doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And in the last two and a half years I've been promoted to brown belt, um, competed on a professional level, competed at the highest level and now I'm a full-time coach and personal trainer and sales associate here at TNT MMA Training Center here in Phoenix. Oh yeah. I just kind of finished like a seven month long jiu-jitsu season so that's coming to an end. I'm now transitioning back into my powerlifting but before that happens I'm dieting down a little bit more to attempt to do a couple bodybuilding shows here in October and then after that it should be about nine to ten months of just straight strength training from there. You're gonna put me through a jiu-jitsu and the rest of the team here of through a jiu-jitsu workout today though. Yeah, uh, we do drilling, we do technique, we do live rolls. Uh, it's a great workout, a lot of great people here. It's really cool to be here just specifically because the people's personalities and the people's just overall vibe is so positive. Yo man, I'm awesome. excited. Let's get to it. Let's get it. I ain't trying to bring you down, but for real, you might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. My life been good and bad and all around. The more things I lost, the more I found. One thing I taught myself to do, no matter the problem, refuse to lose. So, how you want it, man? You can choose. If you can't take the heat, don't light the fuse. See, I walk in slow and ignite the room. Like fire, everything I touch, I consume. I'm getting up while y'all just snooze. While you make breakfast, man, I'm on the move. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever but owns the place, gotta drag me out ah. In me I trust, yeah I smell like success This Elon Musk, huh? Everybody wanna be like us We don't stop cause the top just ain't enough, huh? I ain't never gay no fucks, I ain't scamming You know black men don't blush, huh? Came here ready to fight on this night You better just run for your life Won't you come and see what it's like Living by the rules that you write You ain't all those lavish delights Now you had no back in sight All the little lies you recite Just makes all the savage unite Usually I'm very polite But I'ma get savage tonight Even when a dog being nice Every single dog gonna bite You might think I'm wrong but I'm right Just let it get a strong appetite I'ma let it breathe just a little Give it to you strong heavy metal I don't make a sound when I strike You better just run for your life Run for your life
So we just wrapped up that jujitsu workout. I just want to thank Jimmy a lot for having me out here. If you guys don't know who this guy is, look him up on Instagram. Do you have any advice for people going into the jujitsu realm or anything like that? So the biggest thing with people starting jujitsu, the people that have like no prior experience, the thing that I hear most commonly is like, oh, I'll start like in a few weeks. Let me get in shape first. Let me get ready first. Or like, I want to start it, but like, I'm just kind of afraid to try new things. And like with jujitsu, I got to be straight up with you guys. It's going to be one of those things where you're going to come in and feel like you absolutely know nothing. But if you today. watch the footage though, he didn't know anything, but he came in with an open mind. He listened, he tried new things, and he was picking up things pretty fast towards the end. So you never know if you could be actually a really uh, fast learner and you pick things up fast in jujitsu, yeah. come to like it. And even if you're not a fast learner, it's not about how fast you go, it's about the journey. And jujitsu does a lot of great things for a lot of people. It gets people a lot of, out of a lot of bad places in their lives. I can say it did for me. So you never know. Maybe jujitsu might be your next journey. You never know unless you try. If you're interested and you're in the West Valley, look me up on Instagram, shoot me a DM, and we'll get you set up at TNT MMA Training center hell yeah the biggest issue nowadays man is just people being complacent with where they're at and settling with where they're at and trying new things is one of the most important things you can do yes. for your mental health 100 percent, right and 100%. physical health as well mm -hmm. with jujitsu it's a little bit different than going to the gym the gym you're it's 100 percent about pushing yourself and being better than you were yesterday with jujitsu is definitely like that however you got to test yourself against another human human being that's trying to keep you from doing what you want to do right and the gym Something feels heavy, you make it lighter. And here, you don't really have that luxury. So it's a very humbling activity and it's a very humbling experience. You're humbled on a daily basis. A lot of times if you come in here and you're a big like muscular guy that like maybe deadlifts 700 pounds, bitches 500 pounds, all of a sudden you're getting tapped out by black belts that are 140 pounds. It takes you back a little bit, it's very humbling. But it's that humble mindset that really is very healthy for the mind. For sure. It gives you a different outlook on life. And I can say for myself, it's kept me humble. Um, for the same exact reasons. Oh yeah, man. I really appreciate you guys having me, bro. Thank you. I appreciate we'll it. Thank you. Back. Good. Good. I'm glad. Glad. Hope to see you guys with the next one. <laughs> yeah.